So this is from Tom. Dear Pastor, Nicodemus asserts the law in John 7, 51, a reasonable position for him. The Pharisees betray him immediately, dismiss the law, reject the Lord without a hearing. At that instant, Nicodemus must have been really taken back. I wonder what he understood about his con conversation with the Lord a few chapters earlier. Did he see that the law will betray you and the Spirit won't? That's a great line, by the way. The law will betray you and the Spirit won't. I love that. Let's, let's take the rest of the story of Nicodemus and we can have a better understanding of the result of what happened to him. In John chapter 19, um, verses um, um, 30 uh, to 42, you can see that it's Nicodemus that accompanies Joseph of Arimathea to come and get the body of Jesus. So I believe that he was converted to Christ. I believe he trusted in Christ. I believe he trusted in his spirit. Um, and, and I do believe that it became very apparent to Nicodemus, as it must to us all, that simply trying to obey the law produces hypocrites. I don't care what religion you are, if your only deal is to try to trust in your own goodness to obey some sort of religious law, then either you'll pretend that you're obeying it or you will constantly fail. And, and we need to be saved by grace. That's what the Bible says. And I believe that's what Jesus did with Nicodemus. And I believe that the Spirit um, doesn't fail any of us.